Hello Year 9, welcome to Equations. Now this is going to be your bread and butter with regards to uh, what you pretty much the basis of what you're mostly going to do right up through to advanced. You're going to other stuff but it's very very equation and algebra heavy. So before we move on then, how about we have a look at what we already should know. And that's very 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 simple two-step equations here. So as a bit of a recap, really what does it, what's the point of an equation? Well, it's to find x. So what we need to do is we need to deconstruct the equation so that we can pull it apart and find out what x is underneath. Because this is, remember, this is balanced. In other words, that equals that. And we can exploit that because if we take something off this side, we can take something off that side. Or if we can divide this side, we can divide that side by the same amount and it'll keep balance. It'll keep the scale balanced. The way I used to go through reverse bod mass, blah, 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 blah. The easiest way I think is to have a look and say, okay, well, what's closest to the X? And if we want to get to the X, we have to peel off all these layers. Like ogres, equations are like onions. They have layers and we need to peel those layers off to get to the, to get to, sorry, to the x underneath. So, let's do it. This is minus 10. Well, how do I get rid of minus 10? I do the opposite. I add 10, but what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. And so, minus 10 plus 10 cancels out. 5 plus 10 is 15, and I end up with 3x equals 15. But that's gone now. Now, that's three times x, so th how do I just get to the x or peel off that layer? If it's three times x, well then I have to divide by three. But what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. And so three divided by three cancels out and equals one, which we don't need to put on. Fifteen divided by three equals five. Oops, so here we have x equals and so what we did is we peeled off the first layer, then the second layer, and to get to the x underneath. Let's have a look at this one down here, or across here. Now, in the same way here, this one's a little bit cheeky because it's everything above the line is being divided by 4. So the first thing we actually need to do is get rid of that divide by 4 by times it by 4. Times by 4, and we end up with x, they cancel out minus 5, x minus 5 equals 7 times 4, which is 28. And then that's being subtracted by 5, so we add 5 to both sides. x equals 28 plus 5, which equals 37. You see, there are only really two-step equations this one. Now, this one here is slightly different. We just move to the end. Then we've got the divide by n, and then we've got the 6 down the front. And it's slightly different because of this minus, but we'll get to that in just a moment. So what's the first thing we want to get rid of? Well, it's this 6. But is this 6 a minus, or is it a plus? Well, it's absolutely a plus. It is a positive 6 out the front. And so, because it's a positive 6 out the front, to get rid of it, I have to minus 6. Minus 6 from this side. And what we end up with is they cancel out. Minus n on 3 is 4 minus 6, which is negative 2. Be very, very careful with your negative numbers, subtracting your negative numbers, because this is where most people, most people make their mistakes. So now we have minus n divided by 3 equals negative 2. So I need to get rid of divide by 3, times by 3, times by 3, and we end up cancelling out. Minus n equals minus 2 times 3, which is minus 6. And I'll give you the long spiel. If it's a negative n, how do I make it a positive n? Well, I multiply by negative 1. But if I multiply this side by negative 1, I have to multiply that side by negative 1, and that becomes 6. But effectively, what ends up happening is if you flip the sign of one side, you flip the sign of the other. So minus n, if I flip that to a positive n, well, I have to flip that minus 6 to a positive 6 as well. 